I gave it a seven because in one scene you can see the camera equipment and the gap between the speed dating and like the relationship wasn't made completely clear without you saying before, so that's why. I gave it a solid eight and a half with potential to go up to possibly nine, nine and a half with the improvements you make. Any particular reason? Uh, I just think it's a great story and I'm just very jealous that I didn't come up with the story before you were. I mean, at first when I was watching the film, I thought when the boom was in shot, I thought he'd actually made the mistake. But then I realised it's like a documentary type film. So I think that works really well. So I don't think, like, I disagree with Jess, I don't think that needs to change. I like that. Um, there's not really a lot to change. I mean, obviously you can make it clearer between the dating and the when they're married back at home and things like that. But otherwise, I don't think there's a lot needs to change. Obviously you all have changes you want to make, but little slight ones, but otherwise I think it's a great film. No, I liked it and understood it all. <laughs> Is there anything you'd want to see more of? Um, my Bradshaw. Um, I thought the gorilla and his wife were both really committed, which made it really good, and the voiceovers were dead god. <laughs> um, my favourite scene was the speed dating um, in the pub. The actors you used were really well, especially the first actress. Um, my least favourite was the eviction notice. Um, it worked well with the narrative, but I found it a little bit boring. Susan Kong, because it was just dead funny, and like, I loved how Mike played the woman, and it was like, just took a bit of seriousness out of it. And it was a surprise compared to the other daters. Is there like, any specific part in this performance which you like the most? Um, well, you know when they were um, outside, and he was like, you're, the, you're a true ape or something. I love that bit. And the one where it was like, hit the camera out the way on the bath or something. That was cool. Um, not particularly, it was like a really, really good film. Um, the only thing I can really think of is like, maybe, like the voiceover commentary thing, maybe have more of that like in the middle bit, like when he's at Cadbury World or at the speed dating thing. But other than that, I can't really think of anything that's really, really good. Yes, I do. I think it's fine. But it was a little bit scary. <laughs> the face was a little bit scary. But yeah, it's fine. <coughs> okay, I mean, you can do this, you can do this. Yes, uh, the... Um, at no point did I really feel like I was sat there watching a film. I was kind of immersed in it for the short period it was on. Um, that, was, that would be thanks to the editing, which was all very smooth. There was the instance of a boom in it, but it's a documentary, so that's obviously part of it. And we became, up until that point, I just, I was kind of lost in it. Then that did take me out to the fact that it is a documentary. I felt the verisimilitude in it was excellent. Not on the top of your head. Honestly, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, maybe get a real gorilla instead of an actor in a costume. Can we do that? The babes, yeah, the babes. babes. Can we get more of the babes in? Of course. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> I thought the editing team was really good because it suited the style of uh, film you were doing. You are doing a documentary, so it suited that because it was handheld, some shots were, and you tied that into the steady shots as well. I thought it was really good. Um, hang on. Yeah, there was one bit I thought when you know the slow motion, like that bit, uh, the sink in there I was like that much out. And I think editing, you can just tweak it. It's like a little tweaking. Yeah, so that's all it with that, and it's like the perfect film. Sweet, thank you very much.